My big surprise is that these have been classified all this time because most of the material, um, there are no, so far, no real bombshells, but a lot of it's kind of innocuous detail. There's interesting detail. For example, I was drawn to the parts about um, the CIA and Fidel Castro. We've known for a long time that the CIA was plotting to assassinate Castro. And furthermore, we've known that uh, that may actually have been a motive for Lee Harvey Oswald to kind of take retribution against the United States. So there's some more detail on that, but not a whole lot more. I mean, it doesn't alter the basic story. So everything I've seen so far um, is just, I, I'm surprised that, again, that the government has suppressed it for this long a time. And all that does is to fuel conspiracy theories. I mean, if you wonder why, they're, why they have concealed it this long, uh, what more are they not telling us? The vast majority of information that I've seen and documents that I've seen really doesn't alter the fundamental story of the that uh, uh, or conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald was the lone assassin. Uh, will this will the full release of all these uh, documents um, put an end to uh, to doubts about the assassination? I don't think so. This is one of those things that even after everything is released, there are going to be doubts because it's still it's so hard for us to get our heads around the idea that um, somebody like Lee Harvey Oswald, a loner, kind of a loser, could have uh, uh, changed the course of history.